Right, good morning. Uh, just a quick video of me packing the new electric kiln full of biscuitware. Okay, here we go. Right, I'm going to try and fit all of this dried pots here, and all of these here, and there's all of these here. There's pots within pots. These are. Uh, some little moon jars that I've made for my daughter's uh, burgeoning candle making enterprise. So they're inside pots. So uh, just going to try and get it all in the new kiln. Well, that's the first layer in. I think I've got about 19 cups in there. I'm just going to put the rest of these now. In twos. So there'll be another layer now, one on top of the other. Uh, the rims will be okay. So uh, let's get the next layer in. Right, that's the second layer in. I've put the props in from the edge. I'll try and do that and it evens the load of uh, these shelves because they're not really thick. They're about 16, 17 mil thick. So uh, if I bring the props in a little bit and stack above them obviously, um, it evens the, uh, the weight distribution. On the shelf. I've now got pots inside pots so I'm just going to put one layer on there rather than stack them again and take the risk of them uh, blowing up so uh, that's another layer, second layer. Another single layer of pots inside pots. Just got another five six inches should get the rest of them in. Ready. Cold fire. Preheat. One hour. Enter. Cone. Oh. One. Oh. Enter. Speed. Slow. Enter. Hold. We just hold it for ten minutes. Enter, and then we will. Uh, where's the review? Review. Cone. O oh, ten. Nine o oh, three. Speed slow. Hold. Ten minutes. Preheat. One hour. Delay zero. Okay. So. Start. That's it. On. Clicking away nicely. Scared the hell out of me the first time I heard that. I thought something was going wrong, but apparently that's what it does. So, um, that's it. All packed. Took about 45 minutes. Uh, not bad with a hangover. So, uh, nothing broken. Here we go. Right, I went yesterday and bought four extra shelves, and one of them I've had cut. See it better this way. I've had it cut asymmetrically into two pieces uh, on Walter's uh, bandsaw, uh, circular saw. So that I can use these to stack sort of moon jars one side and then use uh, sort of a half, a half shelf or two thirds shelf. Uh, so uh, not using those today but they'll come in with the uh, glaze firing. I'm just drying them out against the radiator because uh, they use water to uh, cut them when they cut them and they get a bit soggy so uh, can't put kiln shelves in a, in a kiln wet. They will uh, explode. Okay. Right that's it. Kiln's on. Um, nice and slow, take about 12 hours to get to 900 degrees uh, because some of it is not 100% um, dry but apparently if you put the hold on for an hour it holds it at 180 degrees for about an hour that dries everything out perfectly so uh, that's one advice from a friend so we'll see how we get on there's about half a dozen in there that aren't quite bone dry so uh, we'll check those tomorrow